This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. Ladies and gentlemen, I have I have something to say about this. Save your money, seriously. Like as soon as I woke up, I had another video planned to do commentary on, but as soon as I checked my Twitter feed, this was posted one hour ago, and I said to myself, "You've got to be kidding me." First of all, I was hoping the Switch Pro leaks were fake. Un uh, well, they are. But instead, we got this, the whole OLED model of the Switch. That was, uh, now it's 100% confirmed thanks to Nintendo. And as far as uh, we're concerned right now, the uh, presentation was a little bit disappointing. I mean, yeah, I mean, the you know, it's wider. It's got new Joy-Cons, but let's be perfectly honest. And it's got a better kickstand, but let's be honest, that's to be expected. You know, that's to be expected. And not only that, but your base Nintendo Switch, you could easily just make all these improvements yourself. You could get custom Joy Cons anywhere. You could get a custom, a custom stand anywhere. There's so many accessories you could buy from that. So again, you know, like all you get is OLED. Like, oh, it's a wider screen. It's like buying a pair of shoes. You just, it's just you're getting it wide. That's it. It's the same thing. I'm assuming the battery life for this thing is probably going to be six hours, similar to the Nintendo Switch version two that came out a year ago. So again, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth your money. No games are gonna, you know, the game's gonna be running still at the same resolution. There's no 4K support, and I don't think any games are gonna be exclusive to this damn thing, which is a smart move by Nintendo because, again, why would, you know, it, you know, it's kind of like the Switch Pro, not the Switch Pro, I meant the PlayStation 4 Pro, where that game had exclusive games behind it because it had a better, uh, it had more horsepower, it had beefier specs where the base PlayStation 4 couldn't even run it, not at a stable frame rate and not at a stable resolution. So that, so the PlayStation 4 was, uh, Pro was warranted because it needed the extra horsepower to make those, you know, high res games. This, on the other hand, it's just another, it's an iteration to the Switch family, but I honestly think it's going to cause more confusion than ever now, because now you have three versions of the Nintendo Switch. You have the Switch Lite, which is a uh, portable, handheld only. The base Nintendo Switch, which is which has been out for four years, and now you have the Nintendo Switch OLED model. Great! If you're a salesman, how does it feel that you have to say, "Uh, what does your son or daughter want? The Nintendo Switch, the Switch Lite, or the Switch OLED model?" The OLED model doesn't even have an exclusive behind it. And we don't even know what the price is gonna be. I haven't, I haven't checked the price yet. I mean, I, I've jumped the gun right now. If the price is not the, I understand OLED technology is, it's expensive. It's on cell phones. I understand, but come on, this is ridiculous. If this thing is gonna be almost four hundred dollars or a hundred dollars more expensive than the base Nintendo Switch, just save your money. Seriously, it's not even worth buying from a scalper. Because obviously, knowing this is new technology, we already know the scalpers and bots are going to get every goddamn pre-order as soon as it's available. Because let's be honest, that's, how, that's what's it's been going on with the PlayStation 5. But in all seriousness, everybody, I urge you, just save your money. This thing has, this thing is not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to blow your socks off. Just stay with your base Nintendo Switch, or at least get the version 2 if you, if you don't have it already. Where the version 2 uh, Nintendo Switch has 6 hours of battery life, so at least then you can play more hours of... Breath of the Wild, you know, because your base Switch can only do three hours total, and you could probably do, like, maybe 90 minutes of Breath of the Wild, because that, that game uses a lot, a lot of power. So, that's all I have to say right now. Let me know what your thoughts are, because I felt a little disappointed with this presentation. It just felt like, great, now it's called the Nintendo Switch OLED version. Great. Oh, my God. The name... You know what? I... They got who's ever in charge with the names in Nintendo? Seriously, come up with better names. It just sounds so confusing. If you're a salesperson, how, like how are you gonna present this to somebody? Oh, I want a Nintendo Switch, but then if you're a representative, you're probably saying, "Oh, but what about the OLED version? What's the exclusivity on it?" Nothing. At least the Switch Lite is a hundred dollars cheaper, and it's portable. It's portable mode only, which a lot of us play our a lot of our games on portable mode by default, anyways. So it's a good money saver. No games are behind uh, an exclusive Switch. Thankfully, that'd be a Travis. That'd be a fucking uh, atrocity if that were to happen. Like, let's say Breath of the Wild 2 can only run on the OLED version, but the other two versions, you're shit out of luck, or you're probably gonna get a shitty frame rate. You'll probably get it at 20, 20 frames, or on this version, you'll probably get it at 30 smoothly and no, uh, no lag or nothing. Ugh.
I wanted to make this short and sweet, but you know how I feel right now. I'm a little upset about this, but at the end of the day, look, Nintendo is a business, and th this is part of the Switch family. So I guess Nintendo, you know, they, you know, they fix all the errors from the original Switch, which is great. The only question is, will people be able to get their hands on this thing, or the scalpers are going to do the same thing they did with the PlayStation 5? And ask an arm and a leg for this damn thing. At the end of the day, Nintendo just wants to get to 100 million units as quickly as they can. They're very close to it, and I honestly think this version of the Switch might propel them there. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I gotta go. Peace out!